corporate capital losses. How are we going to see these play out? Well, let's get right to it. A C corporation may deduct capital losses only up to the extent of its capital gains in a given year. However, if we do have capital losses that exceed capital gains, the excess capital loss can be carried back or forward to offset gains in other years, subject to certain limitations. We've also got a lesson on this, and we'll see the rules carry back three years, carry forward five years. Um, this is an example, obviously, that we can see anywhere on the exam, but we got a whole lesson on it. So if this is not something you uh, have mastered here, you will see it in our other lessons. So assume that company Z has the following capital gains and losses in the current year. That I love examples. I love learning through examples because what happens if you see this on the exam, you know it textbook wise, you know what the rule should be, but you don't know how to apply it. Now you do. First, we are going to net our short terms and then our long terms. So if we're netting our short term capital gains and losses, that's going to give us a $5,000 net short term capital loss. We net our long terms and then we're going to say that also gave us a loss. But in this case, it's a $20,000 net long term capital gain or loss. And then we are going to net these two together. We're going to say what's our total net capital gain or loss, which in this case is going to be $25,000 total net capital loss. Now, in this example, company Z has a total net capital loss of $25,000. Since a C corporation can only deduct capital losses up to the extent of its capital gains, company Z cannot deduct any of the excess capital losses in the current year. Now, this process is important. It wasn't critically important in this example, but it will be in other examples. Understanding that you first net together all of the same types. So first you net together the short terms and then the long terms, and then you net those together there. Uh, we'll see examples as we just progress throughout the course how different types of losses, whether it's from sale of collectibles or ordinary income, how all of those are netted together. Here, we can carry back the excess capital loss of $25,000 to offset capital gains in previous years up to three years back, or carry forward the excess capital loss to offset capital gains in the future years up to five years forward, subject to limitations. Definitely want to memorize the three years back, five years forward, and this is how we would apply it. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together. 